Hi, welcome to Storytime at Jefferson County Public Library. My name is Mr. Carl, and I'm a kids and families librarian um, here at the Jefferson County Public Library. And today is story time. It's going to be a preschool story time, but I encourage you all to join along, even if you're not in preschool. So before we get started, let's sing the hello song. So let's review some of the signs in the hello song. It's going to go hello. And then friends, you lock your fingers together for friends. Then you're going to say hello and friends. Then we're going to do time. So you touch your wrist to say double touch right before your lips. Hello. All right. Let's get started and say hello to all our friends out there watching story time with us right now. Ready? Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Good. Hello, everyone. Today, today's story time is all about birds, and we're going to be talking about birds in winter. But before we talk more about birds, let's think what letter does the word bird start with? And I'll give you a little hint. It sounds like this. Ba, ba, ba. What letter makes that sound? Ba, ba, ba. That's right. I think I heard it out there. Bird starts with the letter B. So the letter B makes the sound B, B. And that's why when we say bird, it starts with B, B, bird. Very good. Let's learn the sign for the letter B, which will be a good one to learn today. So B. In sign language, you put your hands up flat. You're going to take your thumb and tuck it into the palm of your hand. And that is B. Great. So we know the letter B makes the sound B, that it's the first letter in the word bird, and that the sign for bird, for B, excuse me, is thumb tucked into the palm of your hand. Great. Bird. Very good, everyone. So there are all different colors of birds. We could have, and all different types of birds as well. This one right here is a hummingbird. Look at that beautiful hummingbird. And they make the sound because their wings shake so fast. Can you guys do the wings of a hummingbird? Great, their wings beat so fast. And look at that long beak of a hummingbird. That is so they can reach down into a flower to get all of the nectar. So we also have bluebirds. Bluebirds are one of my favorite birds. And I right now am going to teach you the sign for blue. So blue also starts with the letter B. B, B, blue. And if we remember, the sign for B is your thumb tucked into the palm of your hand. And to make the sign for the word blue, you are just going to shake that hand back and forth. And that is the sign for blue. So we could say blue bird, blue bird. You guys tried it at home with me? Blue bird. Blue bird. Very good. You guys are doing an excellent job today. Let us sing a little song um, that is about ducks. So ducks are a kind of bird. And this one is going to be the ducks on the bus. It's kind of like the wheels on the bus go round and round. But this time it's going to be the ducks on the bus. Are we ready? It goes like this. The ducks on the bus go quack, 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 quack. 
quack, quack, quack. The ducks on the bus go quack, quack, quack all through the town. Good. Next, they're going to go flap, flap, flap. The ducks on the bus go flap, 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 flap. Flap, 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 the ducks on the bus go flap, 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 all through the town. Very good. Next, they're going to go waddle, waddle, waddle. The ducks on the bus go waddle, 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 waddle. The ducks on the bus go waddle, 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 all through the town. Very good. And we're going to go back to quack, quack, quack. Last verse. Ready? Let's sing it nice and loud. The ducks on the bus go quack, quack, quack. Quack, quack, quack. Quack, quack, quack. The ducks on the bus go quack, quack, quack. All through the town. Yay. All right. We are going to read our book today here for story time. And this book is called Birds. That's the name, Birds. And look, we can see the letter B. Remember, B. So Birds is written by Kevin Hinks, and it is published by Green Willow Books an imprint of Harper Collins Publishers. And we would like to thank Green Willow for allowing us to read this book in story time today. All right, let's start. Birds. For our parents and children. In the morning, I hear birds singing through the open window. Look at that pretty bird. What color is its breast? Red, red. Birds can be yellow. They can be blue. Remember blue? They can be brown or red or even green, I think. So we have all different colored birds. Birds are so pretty. Sometimes they are black so that you can't see their eyes or their feathers, just their shapes. Birds can be big. What kind of bird is that with those long, long legs? That is a flamingo. Very good or any size in between. So we have a seagull, we have an owl. What sound does an owl make? Hoo hoo, hoo hoo. Very good. So once I saw seven birds on a telephone wire. Let's count them out. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven. Very good, seven birds on a telephone wire. They didn't move, and they didn't move, and they didn't move. And then I looked away for just one second, and they were gone. No more birds. If birds made marks with their tail feathers when they flew. Think what the sky would look like. Very good. If clouds were birds, the sky would look like this. Or this. Sometimes in winter, a bird in a tree looks like one red leaf left over. Look at that, that beautiful red bird sitting on that barren tree with all the snow coming down. Beautiful. 
if there are lots of birds in one tree and they all fly away at the same time, it looks like the tree yelled, surprise! Yeah, look at all those birds. They all flew from the tree at the same time. Have you guys ever seen that? It's pretty magical. If I were a bird, I'd ask where all the birds go when it's stormy and they can't get home to their nests. Look, a big rainstorm, a big thunderstorm is coming. Where do all the birds go in a thunderstorm? I like to pretend that I'm a bird. I can't really fly, but I can do this. I can sing. Birds love to sing, don't they? They make such melodic and beautiful um, songs. Sometimes you'll hear them like a La 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 la. So that's something that birds and humans have in common is we both love to sing. Well, thanks for joining me for that book called Birds by Kevin Hanks, and it's illustrated by Laura Dronzek. So that means she drew the pictures. Okay, well, it looks like we're running out of time. Um, and so I wanna thank you all for joining us at Storytime today for a story time about birds, which starts with the letter B. And um, parents, I want to give you a, a nice activity that you could take home. Um, if you have any of those fake feathers, or you could just pick a really light material, an activity that you could do with your child is to have them um, play with the feather first and then ask them, is the feather light or is it heavy? And then have them hold up the feather above their heads and drop it and say, does it drop fast or does it drop slow? And then you can have them try dropping it again and seeing if they can catch it with their hands. All sorts of great activities that help with um, um, sensory perception and also help with hand-eye coordination when they go to catch the feather. Well, that's been another great story time at Jefferson County Public Library. Thank you so much for joining us and we will see you next time. Thank you.